Greetings to dear friends thank you for choosing the Big Dark channel for teaching scientific content. Please do not forget to subscribe, like, and comment to support the channel. Magnetosphere In astronomy and planetary science, a magnetosphere is a region of space surrounding an astronomical object in which charged particles are affected by that object's magnetic field. It is created by a star or planet with an active interior dynamo. In the space environment close to a planetary body, the magnetic field resembles a magnetic dipole. Farther out, field lines can be significantly distorted by the flow of electrically conducting plasma, as emitted from the sun, i.e., the solar wind, or a nearby star. Planets having active magnetospheres, like the Earth, are capable of mitigating or blocking the effects of solar radiation or cosmic radiation, which also protects all living organisms from potentially detrimental and dangerous consequences. This is studied under the specialized scientific subjects of plasma physics, space physics, and aeronomy. History The study of Earth's magnetosphere began in 1600 when William Gilbert discovered that the magnetic field on the surface of Earth resembled that of a Turella, a small, magnetized sphere. In the 1940s, Walter M. Elsasser proposed the model of dynamo theory, which attributes Earth's magnetic field to the motion of Earth's iron outer core. Through the use of magnetometers, scientists were able to study the variations in Earth's magnetic field as functions of both time and latitude, and longitude. Beginning in the late 1940s, rockets were used to study cosmic rays. In 1958, Explorer 1, the first of the Explorer series of space missions, was launched to study the intensity of cosmic rays above the atmosphere and measure the fluctuations in this activity. This mission observed the existence of the Van Allen radiation belt, located in the inner region of Earth's magnetosphere, with the follow-up Explorer 3 later that year definitively proving its existence. Also during 1958, Eugene Parker proposed the idea of the solar wind, with the term magnetosphere being proposed by Thomas Gold in 1959 to explain how the solar wind interacting with the Earth's magnetic field. The later mission of Explorer 12 in 1961 led by the Cahill and Amazian observation in 1963 of a sudden decrease in magnetic field strength near the noontime meridian, later was named the magnetopause. By 1983, the International Cometary Explorer observed the magneto tail or the distant magnetic field. Bow shock The bow shock forms the outermost layer of the magnetosphere, the boundary between the magnetosphere and the ambient medium. For stars, this is usually the boundary between the stellar wind and interstellar medium. For planets, the speed of the solar wind air decreases as it approaches the magnetopause. Magneto sheath. The magneto sheath is the region of the magnetosphere between the bow shock and the magnetopause. It is formed mainly from the shock solar wind, though it contains a small amount of plasma from the magnetosphere. It is an area exhibiting high particle energy flux, where the direction and magnitude of the magnetic field are very erratically. This is caused by the collection of solar wind gas that has effectively undergone thermalization. It acts as a cushion that transmits the pressure from the flow of the solar wind and the barrier of the magnetic field from the object. Magnetopause Magnetopause is the area of the magnetosphere wherein the pressure from the planetary magnetic field is balanced with the pressure from the solar wind. It is the convergence of the shock solar wind from the magneto sheath with the magnetic field of the object and plasma from the magnetosphere. Because both sides of this convergence contain the magnetized plasma, the interactions between them are complex. The structure of the magnetopause depends upon the Mach number and beta of the plasma, as well as the magnetic field. The magnetopause changes size and shape as the pressure from the solar wind fluctuates. Magneto tail. Opposite the compressed magnetic field is the magneto tail, where the magnetosphere extends far beyond the astronomical object. 
It contains two lobes, referred to as the northern and southern tail lobes. Magnetic field lines in the northern tail lobe point towards the object while those in the southern tail lobe point away. The tail lobes are almost empty, with few charged particles opposing the flow of the solar wind. The two lobes are separated by a plasma sheet, an area where the magnetic field is weaker, and the density of charged particles is higher. Earth's Magnetosphere Over Earth's equator, the magnetic field lines become almost horizontal, then return to reconnect at high latitudes. However, at high altitudes, the magnetic field is significantly distorted by the solar wind and its solar magnetic field. On the day side of Earth, the magnetic field is significantly compressed by the solar wind to a distance of approximately 65,000 kilometers, 40,000 miles. Earth's bow shock is about 17 kilometers, 11 miles, thick and is located about 90,000 kilometers, 56,000 miles, from Earth. The magnetopause exists at a distance of several hundred kilometers above Earth's surface. Earth's magnetopause has been compared to a sieve because it allows solar wind particles to enter. Kelvin, Helmholtz instabilities occur when large swirls of plasma travel along the edge of the magnetosphere at a different velocity from the magnetosphere, causing the plasma to slip past. This results in magnetic reconnection, and as the magnetic field lines break and reconnect, solar wind particles are able to enter the magnetosphere. On Earth's night side, the magnetic field extends in the magneto tail, which lengthwise exceeds 6,300,000 kilometers, 3,900,000 miles. Earth's magneto tail is the primary source of the polar aurora. Also, NASA scientists have suggested that Earth's magneto tail might cause dust storms on the moon by creating a potential difference between the day side and the night side. Other objects Many astronomical objects generate and maintain magnetospheres. In the solar system, this includes the Sun, Mercury, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Ganymede. The magnetosphere of Jupiter is the largest planetary magnetosphere in the solar system, extending up to 7 million kilometers, 4 million 300,000 miles, on the day side and almost to the orbit of Saturn on the night side. Jupiter's magnetosphere is stronger than Earth's by an order of magnitude, and its magnetic moment is approximately 18,000 times larger. Venus, Mars, and Pluto, on the other hand, have no magnetic field. This may have had significant effects on their geological history. It is theorized that Venus and Mars may have lost their primordial water to photodissociation and solar wind. A strong magnetosphere greatly slows this process. Plasmosphere The plasmosphere, or inner magnetosphere, is a region of the Earth's magnetosphere consisting of low-energy, cool, plasma. It is located above the ionosphere. The outer boundary of the plasma sphere is known as the plasma pause, which is defined by an order of magnitude drop in plasma density. In 1963 American scientist Don Carpenter and Soviet astronomer Konstantin Gringas proved the plasma sphere and plasma pause's existence from the analysis of very low frequency VLF, Whistler wave data. Traditionally, the plasma sphere has been regarded as a well-behaved cold plasma with particle motion dominated entirely by the geomagnetic field and, hence, co-rotating with the Earth. In 2014 satellite observations from the Themis mission have shown that density irregularities such as plumes or bite out my form. It has also been shown that the plasma sphere does not always co-rotate with the Earth. The plasma of the magnetosphere has many different levels of temperature and concentration. The coldest magnetospheric plasma is most often found in the plasma sphere. However, plasma from the plasma sphere can be detected throughout the magnetosphere because it gets blown around by the Earth's electric and magnetic fields. 
Data gathered by the twin Van Allen probes show that the plasma sphere also limits highly energetic ultra-relativistic electrons from the cosmic and solar origin from reaching low Earth orbits and the surface of the planet. Thank you for being with us until the end of the program. Be sure to mention your opinions about the educational video in the comments section.